hello friends welcome back to online math so we're going to be solving this uh, equation right here so what we have is x for x is equal to 65 okay so we want to find out the value of x that will satisfy this equation and uh, of course just before we proceed like we've always done if you are new to our channel do well to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that you will always get notified each time we release new content and of course if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much and then do well to hit the like button even as we proceed in this video okay so uh, i'm just gonna proceed and looking at this equation the most basic thing to do at this point is just to uh, take the uh, natural log of both sides so that I can actually bring down this x right here. So if I do that, I'm going to be having natural log of x per x is equal to the natural log of 65. Okay, so let me put them in bracket. And uh, of course, because of the properties of natural log, I'm actually going to bring down this x so that what I now have next is x natural log of x is equal to the natural log of 65. Okay. And uh, of course, what I'm actually going to be using to evaluate this problem is what is known as the Lambert's W function okay it is actually the function that allows you to simplify functions that are in this form okay once you have any function in the form of a exponential a you can actually uh, pass a lambert w function denoted by w to it of course when you you, you evaluate it it's actually going to be giving you a okay so my job is actually to be able to transform this function to look like a exponential a so that i can be able to evaluate i can be able to pass lambda degree function and then i can be able to also uh, have a as the result okay so to do that it's also uh, simple what you just need to do is to remember that of course you can be able to you can write x x exponential natural log of x okay where exponential natural log is actually equal to one and then one multiplied by x is also going to be given you x so having uh, uh, said that i'm actually going to replace x with uh, exponential natural log of x so that my equation now here changes to exponential natural log of x multiplied by this natural log of x okay and of course the uh, right hand side still remains natural log of 65 okay so the next thing i'm actually going to do is to bring this natural log of x here so that i have natural log of x exponential natural log of x is equal to the natural log of 65 and obviously you can see at this point that we are now having uh, something we are now having this form this function in form of uh, a exponential a okay where a is just the natural log of x in this case and of course i cannot go ahead to pass the lambert w function so i have lambert w function of uh, uh, natural log of x exponential natural log of x is equal to the Lambert W function of the natural log of 65. And of course, this whole side is actually going to collapse the natural log of x is equal to the Lambert W function of natural log of uh, 65. Okay, it's becoming cool. And then at this point, the next thing I'm actually going to do is to take the exponential of both sides so that I can be able to eliminate this uh, natural log so i have exponential natural log of x is equal to exponential lambda w function of natural log of 65 okay so that if i proceed uh, this exponential natural log of x is one and then i'm left with x at the left hand side 
and then my x is now equal to the exponential lambda the wave function of natural log of 65 okay so what i'm gonna do is actually to head on to a uh, wolf from alpha.com and then we are gonna be computing this so that we have an approximate of the decimal value of this uh, expression over here once you head on to wolf from alpha.com you can see you can just go ahead and type in your function right here okay so you can see exponential lambda w function of uh, log 65 and then once you're done doing that you can just go ahead to hit the equal to button and then when you come down here you're actually going to be seeing uh, the uh, the decimal representation of course of the uh, of function right there and then of course you can see the answer over here so if i zoom it up you can see that there are a whole lot of uh, values here okay so i'm just going to be approximating that so uh, we just approximate it to four decimal places which of course uh, the answer is we are going to be picking is a 3.4061 okay 3.4061 okay so this is just the approximate value of what x will be so this is how you actually solve for problems like this and then of course let me have your thoughts in the comment section if you have understood what we solved make sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that way you always get notified each time we release new content share the video with your friends and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye